I do one by one. I bought them all. Every last one of them. What's going on, Passport Family? Welcome back to another episode of Men on the Move. Guys, before we get started, go ahead and like and subscribe. That's really going to help me out and get me to a broader audience. And without further ado, let's get into this video. I let all his friends smash. All right, gather around. Here's the story. Once upon a time, I was dating this boy. We'll call him the Persian Prince. We'll call him that because that's what he calls himself. Um, he had a really bad habit of like telling me how hot my friends were and like asking me for their phone numbers and haha it's a joke but then I would find out later that like even though I didn't give him their phone number he would find a way Instagram wasn't a thing back then but Twitter was Facebook was BBM Messenger and I would always get messages from my friends being like yo Lema like your man's like trying to talk to me or whatever I was young I was dumb okay I let these things go one time he calls me four o'clock in the morning he's like hey I need you I said why he said come over please I live 45 minutes away from him he was like come over Please, I said, okay, fine, I'm coming. Drove 45 minutes. I get into his bed, he says, I feel so bad for myself. I said, why? He said, I just fucked the ugliest girl ever. And I feel bad for myself. I said, bitch. And I stayed with this man. And then I found out he was dating a whole other woman. The woman in question was 19. Her name was Priscilla with the big tits. That is her real name. Not the part with the big tits, but Priscilla was her name. Anyways, that was my breaking point. And one thing about the Persian prince is that honestly and truly he was not that cute. But you know who was? All of his friends. So what did I do? One by one. I fucked them all. Every last one of them. Was it my finest moment? No. But did I do it? Yes. And do I regret it? Absolutely not. Is he still in my DMs every single day to this day, 11 years later? Begging. <laughs> For a crumb of pouté. Absolutely. Do we like my new hair? Because I'm kind of obsessed. Okay. Bye, guys. Passport family, this is a prime example of why you don't ever bring your foreign woman back to this country. Because you risk the chance of them learning a mentality just like this. The American woman wants you to believe that her twisted behavior is the result of her partner being unfaithful. But that is a lie. She did it because it's what she wanted. Understand, Passport family, this attraction to her boyfriend's friends did not just start because he was unfaithful. Understand, she was fantasizing about spreading her legs for all of his friends long before she found out that he had another woman. Okay, so I made a TikTok about how when I found out that my ex was cheating on me, I fucked all of his friends. <laughs> And all like the hurt boys in the comments are like, oh my God, like you you got passed around, like ha 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 ha. Bibs, I passed myself around. <laughs> <laughs> like I called them and I said like, hey, you trying to smush? And they said, yes ma'am. You wanna know what actually happened? <laughs> because one day, because one day, because one day we're all at his house. And tell me how, hi. Cause you know rule number one of being a boss ass bitch. Never let a clown baby try to play you. But if he does play you, rule number two, fuck his best friends and make them yes men. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I did. I'm going home. <laughs> Passport family, you are witnessing the dark truths about the American woman. But there's more. Let's take a look at some of these comments. The first comment reads, girl, if that wasn't your finest moment, Please share what was, because as far as I'm concerned, you killed it. The next one goes, dude should be more worried about the friends he surrounded himself with. Who could he trust after this? She won. Notice how the American woman praised this behavior. Anyone who is still dating in the States, your girl is somewhere in these comments being a 304 cheerleader. The following comment reads, I love all the men in your comments talking shit like you'd ever be interested in them. And the woman wrote back and said, it's my favorite part too. It takes a special kind of stupid to believe after hearing this, any man worth his ass would give a damn about what interests this woman. <laughs> but Passport Family, here's my favorite comment because it's so true. The final comment reads, the only male you hurt with this was your father. Imagine as a father, Passport Family, to hear your daughter talking like this, to tell the world that she was happy to be passed around. 
The disgusting, twisted behavior of the modern American woman is an uncurable disease. Leave this country and understand there are 194 other countries to explore. Get your passport and never settle for the toxic waste called the American woman. If it's something that you love and you feel passionate about, chase that by any means necessary. I was told I was lame to be a barber. I'd be stuck in my hometown, but God gave me the vision to see that I could be where I am.